Hi everyone, this is Suzanne from Glass Garden Beads and I'm here to um, give you a quick video on uh, our little tree assortment. Now, um, I wanted to show you, I'm going to um, start you with how do you do, and it's a stained glass from Sandy Sealhammer. She does, um, what we're doing is we got a really good pricing on this because she asked me could I take her odds and ends. So there's an assortment of clear glass with a little texture. Some have little bubbles in it, some have a little like frost pattern. It, it's, I couldn't take pictures of them all, it just didn't make sense. So I'm just, you know, you're getting, we're calling them all clear. You might get a, an assortment of different different patterns on the glass but basically like I said we're calling them clear and they're a, uh, Sandy gave us a really good deal from bending sunlight. They're a four inch element, they're a nice lead free is used, lead free solder. So I'm going to quickly show you how do you start. Okay we are going to divide our wire in half and just make a soft bend. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just take, we've got the front. The front is where the jump ring is soldered and sticks out. This would be considered a back. This is the front. Okay? And if you get mixed up, it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to pull one wire. I've got the loop right there. I'm holding it down. I'm going to pull a wire behind. And I'm going to go right through that loop. Just like that, huh? And then I'm going to pull it softly. Okay. Now I'm going to do the other side. It just goes straight down. So we're really just attaching it to the top. We, d we divided it in half, going from the back to the front. And go slow because you don't want to crimp the wire. But because we kind of made that first loop, it goes in nicely. Now, you are going to bead, 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 put on your beads all the way to the end, but when you go through this loop, let's do the first half here. I gave you a colored picture, so if you want to follow the colored picture, all the beads that you see in the picture are there. So I'm going to just kind of take a close up. Okay, I have a little bit of a silver one I start with, so we're going to do that and you just strand it. It's um, an easy project. We just are stranding. Okay, and then we've got a navy blue or a cobalt rather. Then we've got kind of a turquoisey blue. It's right up in here. This guy. Then what do we have? We have kind of a, a gold. Might have shot a bead off. So we'll just do one of these gold ones right here. And these are Chinese crystal rondelles. Okay, put that on. Then we're going to do a red. They're a little bigger bead. And then followed by a yellow. Then followed by a what do we have here? Is that a green? Yep, it looks like a green. We'll do this green. Actually, it's a darker green. We'll do this one. All right. Now we're going to do a little bigger, kind of one of these copper barrel beads. Actually, it's a brass. And so the, the point is we want to get as close as we can to our jump ring that's connected. Okay, we don't want it to push over, then it will bow out. Our, our goal is to keep this as close to the frame as we can. All right, so we'll keep on going here. After that red, we have a white, green, blue. Okay, let's go to our white, which is this. Green. And we have kind of a narrow blue. Now, every one might be different because, you know, these are handmade. So 
um, Sandy, you know, is pretty precise with what she does, but I want to show you. See there, we, ha we can put in a little bead here. So I'm going to add one more bead, and I'm actually going to add a pink bead because we put them in the assortment. All right, I think this is really good. Okay, so I wanted to show you. There we go. We go right up to there. We're not really bowing out. I've got a nice tight wire, but I'm not, you know, I'm not pulling it off the end. And I'm going to strand it through the middle link, which is a jump ring link. We're going to pull it. See how nice it goes? Pull it. And we want it to remain tight. But how do we do that? We're going to do a little bit of a roll, uh, wrap rather, on this. So I'm going to push the beads away just a little bit, very softly and slowly. I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to feed it through. So I'm kind of pulling down on this finger and I'm holding it with the other and I'm going to kind of turn it and pull this through. See, got a nice little link. Just go slow. And then we're going to bead on the rest of it. So now the next one we're going to start with a red. It shows. Now you can do what you want. You can separate your beads and I'm just doing this because I want to get it done fairly quickly. My camera is showing I'm running out of battery space, but I don't want to have it too long of a video. And Hi, I'm back. Our, the camera did uh, click out so you're going to have a little break here. But what I did do is I finished going down Remember, we kind of, and you know, it shows on the video how um, we did that. And then I did the same thing here, and I came across, and I want to show you how you finish out your last bead. Now, I did the same thing here, stranded, um, held it, did a little loopy, and you have directions for this as well. But I want to show you here, it's, it's kind of, you know, tricky, but we go through the one bead both times. So I go, I go through it one way, and I go through it from the other way. Now watch what we do. Then we pull it. See how nice that is? It's a nice snug fit. Again, I take it, and I bring my wire straight down, and the other side straight down. Okay? Now, we're going to open our package. This is where the bottom dangle comes in. And you'll see on the picture, when I did it, I did, on the card, I did it with one bead, but I found so many people having trouble trying to get two ends um, done with one bead. So I just, uh, in the directions, you'll see what I did. And so, um, you know, whether you want to end it with one bead or not, both wires go down through these beads. Let's see. Oh, I'm straining it too quickly. There's a red bead. We want to go first. Both wires go through it. Pull it up. I'm going to snug it up there. Oh, I gotta pull this tight. Now this is where some maneuvering happens here. We want to make sure our wire is pulling tight on both sides. There we go. Slide it up there. That's a nice tight snug. Okay, kind of get it. Eek. Yeah, you want it in the middle. All right. So that took a little maneuvering, but you can do it. Just go slow. Now we're going to go narrow. I do it like a teardrop. You can do however you like. I did it more of a teardrop. So I'm going in the uh, more narrow end. Both wires will go through. I believe we're using 26 gauge wire. So it's, you know, it's fine, but it's, you know, you just got to go a little slower. Slide it up there. See how pretty that is? Now, we're going to separate this. We're going to do a little size, I think they're size 8 seed beads on each end, and I'm going to finish one at a time. Now, here's where it's hard to work with all this, so all I'm doing is cutting it back, and I have about, oh, I suppose it's a little, like 3 eighths, not quite a half inch, and I'm just going to turn this. Take my round nose, or you can wrap your bead in it. Well, let me get it up here. Okay. I don't like the pointy end, 
like I when I turned it I got the pointy end in there so I'm just gonna kind of yeah there that's a nice little loop all right now I'm gonna do the other side so you got two little beads to close your wire off and we're gonna do kind of get this over to this side and we're gonna cut a wire you can wrap your bead if you want more wire you can wrap it I'm I'm not bringing the wire up I'm just finishing it off here in the end taking my round nose and I'm just spiraling a little curl see that like little legs all right so this is actually done regarding the element all right now here's what I put in I put in kind of an S hook all right so you have extra beads here so choose a bead you might like I'm gonna choose oh I think I'm gonna choose a green right here and I'm gonna slide this up and I'm gonna open this up a little bit just kind of bend it slide it into your circle there and I'm gonna hold the whole element but take my tail and bend it straight back so you have your your um, ornament and then you've got this part that's going straight back all right take this part the tail that's going straight back after we bent it and pick up your ornament and go right through that top loop that's going to be your hanger all right but now we got this straight part here put it upright and then just bend that straight up so it's it's going against the the hanger now you can you can get fancy or you can just hold it with your finger and take this part and just wrap it loose or tight you can become whimsical with it at this point it's just about connecting it and after one or two wraps you're good so I'm going to cut this off there we go it's kind of got a sharp end so take take a plier or just tighten it up a little bit that's what I'm doing here I don't want it catching on anything okay we good now because of all the bending we might have re redone it here so we have now put our top on and there's your you can you can cut this down if you don't like it but it's a nice little ornament I've got one hanging in the shop here and it's cute so there you go you got the whole package and then you've got some direct paper directions coming with this as well so let me lift it up a little bit and um, happy holidays out there Merry Christmas and enjoy your ornament bye bye